Hey, how are you doing, Dr. Avenir? What's up, Doc? Not much, Paco. Welcome to the laboratory. I am working on a new way of teaching and learning. What do you mean? A new type of classroom? A new way to take notes? A new technological device? Well, there are many projects that involve the laboratory and the future classroom and that may be part of it. One of my projects is called Digital Storytelling. It could be seen as a new way of taking notes or presenting, but it goes further than that. It's about taking notes or creating a presentation not only through written speech, but also by taking pictures and incorporating video footage or audio recording into the project. Cool. I see. Digital storytelling. I don't think my parents had a chance to do that. Please explain a bit more about it, Doc. Is it a story told by a computer? How will it change things? How will students be graded? Will it become widespread? Well, let me explain. For thousands of years stories were told through conversations and retold to others from the previous listeners' memories. It was a profession to tell stories. I see. Well, that's still what I prefer to do. Just sit down, get a coke and listen to my TV. Unfortunately though creating digital media is difficult, time-consuming, expensive and materials are more easily traded through text files. Written stories. Ha ha. Well that used to be the case. Today, thanks to Moore's Law, mass production, human ingenuity and increasing global wealth, more and more individuals have access to digital cameras, computers, and access to the internet. It is increasingly becoming easier to share digital videos or audio recording. Got that right. YouTube keeps eating my time away. Mums, or cultural units spread through the internet at lightning speed. Yes. Our brains are designed to best understand information through face-to-face -face interaction. However, only a few people could be reached at a time through face-to-face -face communications. The printed word, a relatively recent invention helps us share and build upon each other's knowledge. Now we can finally bridge the gap between the level of stimuli and portability and access by incorporating digital audio, digital video, and creating digital stories. Like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. Written stories will continue to be important, but now we have a new tool available to share our stories. Great. Cool. Now I can be my own media producer. Looking forward to making my first digital story. Alright Doc, you got my attention. Show me how this lab works.